What's up guys, Riley here from RP Productions, and today we're going to be installing some vinyl door sill guards from Clean Cut Decals. So basically if you don't know what door sill guards are, pretty much that little area when you open your door and people get in, people tend to, you know, scrape their shoes and heels and whatever uh, on this little area right here. And that's just a big no-no. So what people have come up with is, you know, adding basically a little layer of protection. Now you have two ways to go um, when doing this for a Charger Challenger, uh, Durango's, and you know, pretty much any Mopar product. You can either do the vinyl decals, which I'm about to show you, or you can go, go do the, uh, it's kind of like a metal plate. Uh, BJ's Garage 570 sells those. Uh, those are also a little bit more expensive. So it depends on which route you want to go. Um, I'm doing, I guess, the slightly cheaper route, but um, still, you know, equally as cool. And um, they're door sill guards, you know. If you get them tore up, you just peel them off and then throw on some new ones or whatever. It's not a huge deal. Uh, so the prices, I guess I'll go ahead and show you these. Um, so here's what they look like. Now you can get these customized to say anything you want. Oh, that's my eyes, that was creepy. <laughs> oh man, this is weird. Um, but yeah, so mine say SRT powered, just so I can piss off all of you that think my car is, you know, uh, apparently not SRT powered, but um, it clearly is. So this is what mine says, and it's black, and then basically that little middle piece where it says SRT powered is gonna be showing through, and it's gonna be purple. So black and purple theme, uh, as you can see what I'm kind of doing here. And then right here, I also have the one for the rear. So that's, you know, basically the same exact thing, just a little bit smaller. Uh, so the prices on these, I'm not 100% sure what he's actually charging. I believe it's somewhere in the low $30 range, which isn't bad. But the cool thing about this is you can get these customized to, to say whatever you want. So if you want it to say Charger, Scat Pack, or I don't know, my car's better than yours, whatever. Um, you can get that printed uh, on these decals, throw them on your car, and show them off to everybody. Um, so, you know, like I said, this is, you know, there's two routes to do this. I'm going to choose this route for now because, quite honestly, if I had some kind of piece of engineering masterpiece right there, I wouldn't want it to get scratched up, and that would just kind of, you know, really get to me. So, if these get scratched up, not a huge deal. But, um, so today's going to be the, I guess, product review and installation guide of how to do this. It's really simple, and so let's get started. All right, guys, so the installation on these decals is extremely simple. I mean, as you can see, they're going to go right there in that little purple part. Um, but pretty much the things you're going to need is obviously the little door sill guards um, and just basically some type of, uh, like, I have Rapid Tack, and it's from Metro Restyling. I had ordered some vinyl, uh, like, last year from my previous charger. Um, but pretty much just some type of, like, a little applicator fluid. Pretty much all it is is, like, water and, like, soap. Um, and then clean cut decals comes with the instructions and it also says here um, basically the instructions of what to do and materials needed so I mean everything is really straightforward uh, once again clean cut decals there's all of his information so go uh, hit him up if you want some of these as well and also he sent me this just to be extremely nice I think this is super cool I'm gonna find a nice little home for this somewhere in my engine bay um, but very cool I believe you can email him and he can make you something similar to that as well um, so, you know, really cool, and so let's go ahead and get started on the installation, and uh, we'll see how they look on the car. Okay, so the first step of the installation is quite simple and quite obvious. Make sure your working area is very clean, so um, pretty much I sprayed it down with some Rapid Tack, and I sprayed it down with some cleaner before that. Um, wipe everything off, and use uh, paper towels so it doesn't leave any type of, uh, I guess, anything behind or whatever. But pretty much you just want it to be a very clean working area because if it's not clean, then the vinyl will not stick properly. All right, so step two is gonna be basically starting the entire installation process. You wanna go ahead and start grabbing a corner and then follow the steps that pretty much I do. So, um, I really don't know how to do this where it comes up good on camera, so I apologize. Uh, there we go, that, that'll probably work. Um, so I'm gonna use my foot to basically hold this down uh, I'm going to start spraying this rapid tack. Basically, there we go, you can see it. Uh, basically, as I peel this, and you want to peel it, um, kind of just fold it back. You don't want to peel it up because that'll kind of start screwing things up. Um, so start peeling back and spray your water and soap mixture on the decal. And uh, kind of awkward angle, but you get the idea. Okay, so there we go. Now spray the rapid tack on the area you're about to put it. Just, you know, nice amount. And 
here we go for the installation. If I could get this sucker. Okay, so this is on the left side. Obviously, you want to put it on the uh, correct way, because if you put it on upside down, that would kind of suck. But um, pretty much place it wherever you want. And the cool thing about this uh, wet installation is that if it's not 100% perfect of where you want it, then uh, you can peel it up and move it around. So that's nice. But uh, let's say this looks about right. And so just kind of place it down on one side when you uh, find an area that it looks good at. Now take out your uh, little squeegee and start basically squeegeeing out all of the, uh, the liquid that was trapped inside. So now there's a couple different ways that you can do this and you'll pretty much, it's kind of like a trial and error type thing. Um, ways I have found, you know, don't come at it like this and don't come at it completely flat. Come at a nice, I guess, like 45 degree angle and that generally works best um, for squeegeeing out water and applying decals. But the way I'm gonna do this is just kind of go across it and I'm gonna start by, you know, getting this side to stick first, and then at the very end, then you'll worry about this little overlap that kind of protects, I guess, the, uh, the corner. So that's where people would probably scrape the most if they were getting in your car. Um, but you can also use your fingers here, and uh, just, you know, really just kind of do whatever way works for you. I'm sure a lot of you are probably better at uh, installing vinyl stuff than I am. So if you found something that works for you, then by all means, go for it and do your own, uh, little thing. All right, so I pretty much got uh, the entire flat part of the decal on. Now you're gonna start doing this little overlapping um, corner down here. So pick a corner to start at, kind of fold it over, um, and there will be a lot of water that kind of sticks in there on the edge and I kind of just messed that little corner up Let's see if we can fix it um, You know, like I said, I'm not the uh, world's best vinyl applicator, but um, you get the idea and uh, Just try to get all the little bubbles out Which is sometimes easier said than done um, But pretty much you're gonna start just kind of folding this little thing over getting all the liquid out, and eventually the whole, th whole entire thing will stick. All right, and so just like that, pretty much the installation is complete. Now, unfortunately, I did kind of mess up right over in this little area. Um, it's not a huge deal, and like I said, this is door cell guards, so more than likely people are going to probably tear them up with their feet because, I don't know, that just tends to always happen. So now, after you've installed one of these, pretty much you let it sit here for about 30 minutes to completely adhere to the car before you take off this little masking tape to reveal the SRT powered. Now there is still a decent amount of liquid still trapped in these letters. Most of that uh, will come out when you peel this off and then you'll you know, kind of blot it with some paper towels. And so I'll show you that uh, a little bit later. But um, pretty much I'm gonna go repeat this entire process now on I guess every, uh, every door sill and pretty much do them all the exact same. All right, so currently waiting that 30 minutes for all of them to adhere. Got every single one put on the car. Um, I actually did this one the absolute best. There's not a single defect in this one, so I'm kind of proud of that. Um, but you know, look pretty darn good. And when you know, when you try to get in, like there's my foot, for example. People always try to you know scrape right here, and I don't know why, but it just always happens that way. So uh, that will protect you there. But now we come around to the back or the other side, and uh, that one came on pretty good as well. And this one up here actually came on pretty good as well except tiny little defect right there but you know if you're standing this far away or whatever you can't tell so not a huge deal um, and if you do get bubbles that stay inside of the uh, the vinyl you can always take a little razor or uh, something else to just kind of poke it and let that liquid fall out and uh, then your problem is solved but uh, for now I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer and uh, the next time you see me I will be uh, 
peeling off that little uh, masking tape. All right, guys, well, moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and start taking the uh, masking tape stuff off. I'm at the uh, driver door sill, I guess. Um, this was the first one that I did. Um, not really sure what to expect here. I guess we'll start peeling from this side. Um, so I'm expecting there to be, I guess, I guess a good amount of uh, liquid still in here around these letters. So I'll probably have to uh, scrape that out. But uh, here we go. Boom, there it is looking good. So I'm gonna try to blot this, I guess. That's probably the best way to do this. Um, <laughs> really impressed though. I think that looks freaking sweet. All right guys, well, there it is, first one down. Honestly, really happy with this. I got a couple little bubbles over here that I need to go get a little razor and just kind of pop them. Uh, but other than that, looks super cool. I like the way they uh, designed this. I like how the paint shows through. Looks really clean on the car. Um, so now I guess let's go ahead and do the other ones. All right guys, got them all on there, so let's go check them out. Um, I'll be quite honest with you guys, I didn't do the absolute best job putting these on. Uh, I'll show you the best one I did. This is the best one. Um, so that is what it looks like. Looks pretty darn good. I, I really like having these. I think the, the black will look really good, especially um, now that I have those and I've been kind of going back and forth on this, I'll probably end up just keeping it classy and doing the black powder coating on the wheels. But um, still not 100% sure on that, but we'll see. Also, once I do the black uh, on the roof and on the uh, hood, uh, that'll look good as well. But here's uh, what the front one looks like. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with them. I think that um, for what it is, you know, a little door sill guard to uh, protect that area, it does just that uh, perfectly. And, um, you know, like I said, if somebody screws them up, I'm not gonna be too upset about it. I'll just be like, eh, okay. And replacing them is not really that big of a deal. Uh, installation time totally will probably take you, give or take, about an hour um, to do everything properly. Um, but, you know, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with these things. Uh, so, you know, like I said earlier, clean cut decals, there it is. His uh, uh, email that you can email him at to get your own customized ones is sales at cleancutdecals.com. His website right there, you can go check it out. He's got a bunch of cool stuff on the website. Um, you know, pretty much the possibilities are endless. If I had to go back and do it over again, I would recommend getting, uh, like for example, just the letters SRT, or um, you know, try to keep it short, sweet, to the point. Because the more letters you get, the smaller the letters are, and the more uh, kind of pain it is to install, I guess. Um, so I would try to keep keep it to a very minimum with the letters. Let's go check out the other side. But yeah, that's my recommendation. So if I had to go back and do it again, I would probably not do the SRT powered again. Um, but it does look pretty darn cool. And uh, you know, I'll come up with something clever if I have to ever get some new ones. But overall, really cool product. So go check him out and uh, give you a little far away shot so you can see kind of what it looks like from back here. But I'm really happy with them, so go check them out, and uh, I will see you guys in the next. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.